most people are very surprised when they first drive up, especially if you're approaching on Highway 212 and you're on a vast open prairie and all of a sudden this magnificent, magnificent structure is standing as a testament to the devotion of the uh, pioneers that built this community. It is an awesome sight when you first see it approaching. It's 100% built by 100% volunteer church labor that uh, perish here. Construction of the church here started in 1930. The designer and architect was the founding parish priest, Father Philip Rue. He had built approximately 30 churches in Canada. When he arrived, he found a, a large congregation with very little money, but a very strong will and ambition to succeed. Keeping in mind the Depression years, uh, there was no large pieces of equipment to construct the parish. It was all done by picks, axes, shovels, teams of horses, etc. Stone was hauled from the Garson quarries, Tyndall quarries, and it was smashed manually by hand into gravel, and women carried stones in their aprons to fill the forms. The church was uh, decorated and painted by local amateur artists according to Father Rue's plans. He wanted a brightly decorated, ornate church that was symbolic of colors of the land and the earth. As you look around inside the church, you'll notice that we have the blue, blue ceiling pertaining to the sky. the brown pertaining to the earth, and you've got the green for the wheat fields. The uh, upper part of the church here that we're in right now uh, was uh, in use since 1938, but the entire structure was actually not finished for 22 years till 1952. There's three bells in the bell tower. Now in 1936, the people of Elise Lorraine, a little town on the border of France and Germany, that's where Father Rue was initially from, they heard about the good work he was doing in Canada building churches, and they cast those bells in Germany, and they shipped them here by steamboat. They arrived in 1936. Father Rue had been Lourdes, France on several occasions, that's where St. Bernadette had the apparition of the Blessed Virgin Mary, where she saw the Blessed Virgin Mary appearing, and many miracles had occurred there. Father Rue wanted a devotional site here in Canada. Well, he was well into his 70s already. In 1954, he started construction of the grotto, the Calvary, uh, and, the, uh, and the stations of the cross that are depicted in the grotto. Unfortunately, Father Rue died in 1962 before its completion, and the Knights of Columbus from the St. Joseph at Council in Winnipeg had finished the grotto off in accordance with Father Rue's wishes. The uniqueness of its architecture is, is also one of the reasons why we are designated a provincial and as well a federal heritage site, uh, because of the true Byzantine nature of the architecture with the columns, the vaults, and the pillars. It's uh, quite unique on the Canadian prairie.